Habs fans, after one preseason game, other than the name Owen Beck, there's probably one other name I can say that's going to send chills down your spine, give you goosebumps, and be like, yes. And you know who that is? Caden Gooley. Man, did this kid come out flying against the Devils, eye-popping. He was unreal, dude. He was literally sick. I, I like, I'm almost at a loss for words at how good this guy was. And the speed... Okay, and as far as being a defenseman in the NHL in this day and age, if you can be big and fast, that is just like a dream combo, okay? Like, if you can have the speed of Quinn Hughes, but a bit bigger, like, how amazing is that? Look at Kale McCarr. Look how mobile he is. Like, Kale McCarr, the hips look like they're swerving through butter when he's spinning around there. And when he's cooking, it is a marvel. I don't think, other than McDavid, there's nobody more fun to watch than Kale McCarr in the NHL. And I'm, by no means am I saying Caden Gooley is Kale McCarr. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is he's got wheels. He's mobile. He can get up and down quick. And he is a player. He's NHL ready. I've said it. Okay. I mean, I know it's only one game, but with him, what I saw in the prospect tournament, what I saw here and what I've been seeing, I watched some oil Kings game last year in the WHL playoffs where he won the MVP. I'm telling you this kid's ready. He's going to play in the NHL this year. I'm telling you, he might play a little bit with the Laval rocket because defensemen take more time to develop than forwards do. But by, let's say, mid-season, end of season, he's going to be a full-time Montreal Canadian. Justin Barron, for example, he looks like he needs some time to marinate, some time to cook in Laval. Not Caden Gooley. Gooley looks like he's ready to play in Montreal right now. Now, will he? That'll be up to Saint Louis and to Ken Hughes and the management group here. Because again, like I said, defensemen, sometimes they need some extra time to cook, to marinate, to air fry in the AHL more than forwards do, but as far as what I saw from Kane Gooley, I'm sure you guys are going to agree here, like, you don't want to put too much pressure on the kid, like, you don't want to put him in and say, boom, all of a sudden, hey, Caden, no pressure, but you're the number one defenseman of the Montreal Canadiens, have fun having, like, 12 people on your lawn every morning screaming at you, no, that's not what we want to do here, you want to insulate him, you want to massage him into the lineup, into a bigger role, start him on the, the last pairing, maybe after a few games, you can move him up to the second pairing, see how that goes, don't be afraid to play with him a little bit, especially PK power play, but you want to insulate him behind guys like Edmondson, behind guys like Mike Matheson, for example. So again, I think he's NHL ready. I think he's going to make an impact this season, but you don't want to throw him to the wolves. You don't want to throw him off a cliff here. You don't want to set him up for failure. You don't want to yes, Barry can yemmy him. Okay. Like you need to help massage him in there, give him some confidence. And if that means starting the season in Laval, that's what it means. But what I'm saying is the kid is ready for NHL minutes. He's got the size, he's got the speed, and he doesn't seem to really be too phased by the pressure. Like, if you watched him last night, like, there were a couple of times where you could see a tiny bit of the nerves, but for the most part, man, did the kid look ready. He looked poised. He didn't look like the moment was too big for him. And I know there's going to be somebody in the back saying, yeah, well, Johnny, it's preseason. Dude. Playing in the Bell Center, whether it's preseason or Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final, the fans bring it. They bring the energy. They bring the passion. It's like no other hockey rink or hockey game you've played before. I'm sh- like, even just as a viewer, I noticed it going to games at the Bell Center. It was unbelievable. It's like, it was like going to church for hockey. It was unreal. So to me... I really think that if he can handle playing in the Bell Center, he can handle playing in the Bell Center. There's no, oh, he handled it today, can't handle it tomorrow. No, no, no. He's ready. And look at him in the interview afterwards. He was talking like a 30-year-old vet with a mortgage and three kids. Like, he was not talking like a young kid who got drafted not too long ago. He seemed ready. He's got that leadership aura of him, okay? He's got that that vibe about him that he can really, really take things in stride. He's not going to be phased. He's not going to be scared by the media or the fans or anything. He's just going to go out and cook. That's what Caden Gooley's going to do. I'm telling you, he's ready for the show. 
Put him in right now, Martin saint -Louis. If you don't, I understand. You want to give him some time. I think you should put him in. Put him on that third pairing. He's ready for that. Let guys like Justin Barron be the types to go to Laval on the first pairing. Uh, feel the puck. Be on the power play. Play 25 minutes a night. Let that be Barron's job. Gooley's ready to play in the big leagues right now. I think that's where he belongs. We'll see how he goes along in the preseason. He might have a hiccup or two, but hey, I've seen what I need to see. The speed, the size, the skill, and the poise, he's ready. He's got all the ingredients. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I want to hear it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.